Good morning, friends. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. It is snowing. It makes my heart so happy. Steven and I both slept in today. He's actually still sleeping. And the snow is just everything I needed this morning. But I want to go get cleaned up because I want to get a haircut. But just, ugh. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year is quite so special Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love In this winter wonderland Chilling by the fire As I'm trying to get your attention So this morning I went and picked up breakfast for Stephen and I And then I wanted to get a jump on wrapping because I just feel like his gifts have like very much accumulated and they've been sitting in my office. So I finally went ahead and wrapped everything that's arrived. I think there are still only three or four more things coming and he is all done. All the shopping is complete for him. And then I do have a couple gifts for people at work that I have to wrap. Um, but I'm in a really good spot now and I love this nutcracker wrapping paper and then I mixed it with this buffalo plaid I really like the way it looks and like the copper bows so all caught up on wrapping while I wrapped I was watching um Christmas on the square it's like my like yearly tradition so I also feel like there's a couple of you who've never seen my office because we've had so many new people join the community so this <laughs> This is like, now I can get all rid of all of this. And here is where I keep all of our board games, all of my like planner supplies, all of that stuff. Oh, here's something else I can get rid of. All of my planner supplies and old boxes that I wanna keep like from my Apple Watch and all those things. I keep a little thing of um, wrapping paper here, some overflow books. This doesn't go here, I just have to put this away. It's a new jewelry organizer piece that I bought from Pottery Barn that arrived. I keep my Dagny Dover backpacks in here. Those are the best backpacks. I think this would also be a great gift for like a new college student or a high school kid. They are neoprene. They wash so well. They're so nice. I have it in, I think I have four of these in the gray, the army green. Then I have two that were originally diaper bags, but they work great for laptop bags. And then up here is like where I keep all of my extra tech stuff in this bin. And then this is like some crafting supplies. And this is like all my ribbons and bows for wrapping gifts. So that's my closet. Then this is my office. It was a guest room, but we didn't need the space. So I have my TV in here, which is enormous for this space. And then I have my desk over here. This is just an old stainless steel Ikea desk that I painted. And then these two bookcases used to be white, but I painted them black. And then I have this down sofa and then this chair, but this is kind of like my little office space and relaxation den. It really kind of came about when COVID hit and Steven and I were both working from home. We both needed spaces, so that's when we really did convert this. But I am going to get those boxes all taken care of and then figure out what's next on my agenda. So I got my haircut today and I went shorter than usual and I'm really happy with it. I also love the state of where the red dye is at right now. It just, I don't know, I just love the color, but it has been not a great day of filming. You guys all loved yesterday's video and it makes me so happy because it was such a great idea and we really did turnkey it very quickly. Abby and I didn't start talking about the plan until next uh, last week and I proposed like, why don't we do like a private shop? You share things, I'll do my shopping. It'll be really organic and really authentic and that's what we wanted to strive for and you guys felt it. 
and loved it and they have seen such an outpouring of support to their small business which makes me super super happy but today has been a weird day of filming i think i'm just i don't know it's like that halfway mark of vlogmas and any content creator who does vlogmas will tell you you hit like a wall in the middle but then get over and it feels really good but it's like three o'clock and i've barely filmed anything someone mentioned them seeing my planters in my back uh and they wanted to see them up close, so I thought I'd show you. I think I might have showed them in a vlog, but some of you might have missed it. So I'm going to go ahead and show them to you now. Our snow is already gone, and it has since switched over to rain. But I'm going to show you how I have these done this year. So this is all live pine that I bought at my local greenhouse, but I did it in a different way. So these urns were on my front porch, and I bought three wreaths, like the largest, then a medium, and then a small. And I literally stacked them on top of each other so I'd have a hole in the center. I did that for both of them. And then I filled it with these white twigs and these pine branches. It's been pretty windy, so they're a little like, they're a little bit more askew than usual. And then I have six, is it, no, five lanterns. I have five lanterns scattered that come on at night, but that's what I did out here, and I really love it. It is like simple and clean, and when the lanterns are lit, it's just so pretty. You doggies, we're just outside. You do not need to go back out. Last night, Stephen and I actually had a pretty late night. We went to a cocktail party that our neighbors had. For those of you that know me, I actually really struggle with social anxiety and I feel that's one of the reasons I do YouTube because it keeps me connected with people but I don't have to leave my house. It's actually a very safe space to be in. Um, I was looking for every excuse to get out of it and Steven wouldn't let me and I have to remember now that it was over, that I had a really good time. I met some new neighbors um, that have moved in recently that I haven't met because I don't really leave my house as crazy as that sounds and I really did enjoy myself and I think pushing myself out of my comfort zone is really good for me so yeah I get it for those who also struggle with that I truly get it and people sometimes don't understand it how hard it is for us to just show up and I'm telling you what I am so proud of you when you do it I have really been trying to challenge myself to do it more and each time I do it I'm really happy but it doesn't mean I don't have to reconvince myself the next time. I did it last night and it felt really really good. I've been on like a Dolly Parton kick all day, I watched two of her movies and I'm now listening to a playlist that I put on Apple Music for myself of all my old favorite songs. So with my planner. I converted to top tabs just because in the desk agenda it works so much better. So when you open my planner, I just have like old cards that have been sent to me from cloth and paper. And then I have my page flags in here. And then I have my calendar pages all set. So those are my monthlies. This is my vision setting that I'll do for 2023. My word of the year, all of that stuff. Um, then this is my habit tracker for 2023 all ready to go. And then I have my daily spreads that I will, I always clean them out and file them and I keep them for one year and then get rid of them. So I already pulled out last week's and then I did put up until the end of February, I believe. So these are my dailies until February, but that is my setup. And then at the back, I have like a little vellum that says I am the architect of the days that haven't happened yet. And then I have just a transparent pocket that has all my, um, that has all my stickers in. So it's like a really clean and simple setup, but it's so aesthetically like pretty. So that's my planner and probably the one that I've stuck the most in recently. And I have already started committing to it for 2023. I've heard you guys loud and clear. Advent calendars are calling and we have two days to open. So let's go ahead and do that. This is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I have the large one that runs about $106 for a bottle. So that's a really nice one to travel with. The last time, or one of the times I traveled with my Good Jeans, I dropped it on a marble floor in the bathroom and it broke. 
The company is called This Works, and this is the um, Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. So two really great products, especially for traveling. Pour some sugar on me. We get a fancy gold box today. And these are the sugar cookie bites. I already know those, they're so delicious. Day 11, can you believe we are at day 11 already? We got some gummies, and I think these are the sour hearts. Are they the peach hearts? I can't remember. Let's look at what those were. Yeah, they're peach hearts. Tomorrow we'll like officially mark halfway through Vlogmas. Like I said, when you get to the 50% mark, you fill it a little bit more. All right. Here's 11, so let's go ahead and open 11. Flor de Pew, a fragrance. Ah, uh, day 10 is the ornaments. They're really pretty this year. I also love to use these for page markers. That's what I've used them in the past for. You know I've spoken every day that I need to move this and I've yet to do so. We got little, what do you call them, conductors? Day 11. Aw, this is cute. It's like a water tower. This is really turning into a cute thing, but you know what I'm gonna say. We have to find a space for it. 10 for sacks. Oops. Well, isn't that just meant to be? It's another good jeans. I'm actually very happy to have two travel sizes of that. This is a great calendar. If you can get your hands on it next year, I highly, highly recommend it. Ooh, this looks, wow. Oh, Molten Brown Orange and Bergamot Bath or Shower Gel. Molten Brown, some of my favorite bath products. You cannot beat them. All right, I promise you guys a different Dolly song each day, so let me get one in my head. I feel like we should start way back and do an older one. Let me think. Okay, I got one. Don't try to cry your way out of this. Don't try to lie or I'll catch you in it. Don't try to make me feel sorry for you. Just because I'm blonde, don't think I'm dumb. Cause this dumb blonde ain't nobody's fool. Oh, that was good. I can't believe I remembered how it started. But that is like a throwback one of Dolly's first songs. I think it was actually her first record that actually like hit the charts. So which song will it be tomorrow? I'm gonna try to do ones that not everyone will know. So Dumb Blonde was today. And did we just find a new advent tradition? Um, so we got tree gummies that are like sugared and then the butterfly gummies, which are delicious. So. I think we've got a new tradition of a new Dolly song. So I have to come up with, I think, what, 12, 12 more, 13 more? I think I could easily do it. I mean, she's written over 3,000 songs. I think we'll be fine. That song is gonna be stuck in my head the rest of the day. It is such, such, such a good one. Steven picked up his wrapping paper for my gifts this year. He also picked up a pack of cards and then also some mini lights because he wants to fix the garland and it was driving him wild. So our front gate garland out front has like one little piece that's not lit the same as the other, so he wants to fix it today. Couple follow-ups. So remember how Abby was saying in yesterday's shop, she was like, when you have something in this store, it like competes for attention, but when you bring it into your house, it becomes exponentially cooler. Look at these glasses. They are so cool. And I know they're coupes and you use them for champagne, but based off of the size of them and how easy they are to drink out of, because not all coupes are easy to drink out of, I will be using these as wine glasses as well. And they are just like, look how cool it is. They are just, I don't know, I love them. And then the other thing that you guys have all asked about is the weighted blanket. Hey, Bubby, say hi to everyone. He's so cute. The weighted blank, look at this one. Update on her champagne bottle. 
I'm giving it till this evening till the top is completely pulled off. Rosé all day. She's super sleepy today. No drinking in the living room. We love you. Um, but update on the weighted blanket. So can I just say she is right. Not all weighted blankets are created the same and this one is amazing. The weight is so evenly distributed. It doesn't make you hot. It is the perfect weighted blanket. I absolutely love it. So it is now going on four o'clock. I have nothing to cook Steven for dinner. He's still napping, but I need to get dinner taken care of. I need to start thinking about travel this week for work and for personal life and get some things done and also find time to like decompress this evening because I'm gonna be traveling so much this week. But we will take Vlogmas with us because Vlogmas is in our hearts and it goes wherever we go. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye friends. <laughs>